This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment, educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see me analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data I release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative to market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, I did a, a video on the CAT system this morning, but the kind of responses I'm getting required me to put out another video. Listen, the government is not concerned about our privacy. The bad actors robbing and stealing from retail investors' pension funds and institutions that follow the law do not care about our privacy. They want to report any transaction over $600 to the IRS. If you get a Zelle payment over $600, $600 or more, they're going to report that to the IRS. Okay, so they don't care about reporting. They don't care about having your personal information. And the CAT system does not send your personal information. It's an ID number of the company and an ID number of the individual that says what trades were made. Okay, and some people say that, that the bad actors are fighting because it's too expensive for them to run the system. I mean, come on now. These guys make billions of dollars a day robbing and stealing from retail investors. If it was an investment in something that helped them steal some more, they would have no problem with the cost. It would be just the cost of doing business. That's the same thing they do with the, those petty fines that they get. It's a cost of doing business. And here's the thing, bad actors. Being that all your trades are going to be available, we're saving you all the fines you will have to pay because you're going to stop breaking the law. So in reality, the CAT system is going to save you money because you're going to have less fines for violating securities law. The only people who don't want the CAT system are the criminals, okay? The only people that don't want the CAT system are the criminals, are the ones that are robbing and stealing from retail investors, pension funds, and, and institutions that follow the law. Because if you follow the law, if you're doing research, if you're doing correct trades, if you're not marking shorts as long, why would you care? If all your trades were made available, you care because you know you don't know how to trade. You know the only way you could win is by stealing and robbing and breaking the rules. So you don't want any rules put in place that stops you from stealing, that exposes the fraud and corruption that you engage in every single day. So when, when you guys say that, Oh, it's the cost. Oh, they're com so concerned about our privacy. Oh, that is absolute nonsense. Since when does these bad actors care about our privacy? Okay, Citadel, they, they're fine for trading ahead of us. So they get our trade information. And before they buy for us, they buy for themselves and then sell to us so they can make more money. Why weren't they protecting our privacy then? The people who don't want the CAT system do not care about our privacy. The people who don't want the CAT system are not concerned about the cost. They are concerned about being able to continue robbing and stealing from retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the law with no consequences. That is the bottom line. That's just my opinion. I mean, that is just my opinion based on everything I've learned in this market over the last three years. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that these bad actors, these naked shorters care about your privacy? You think they care about the cost? They don't. They don't. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.